Hi, I'm Stephanie, one of the nurses here at Ageless Skin Rejuvenation in Virginia Beach. Today we are doing some lip filler on one of our other nurses, Chrissy. She has had some lip filler in the past and we're just layering a little bit more on. Um, so Chrissy, what are your goals today with your filler? Um, I just want to do a little plumping maybe on the lateral edges here. Just a little uh, rejuvenation and pumping. So before doing lip filler we always numb the clients for about 15 to 20 minutes with some topical numbing gel. Once the clients feel that they are numb and comfortable we cleanse the skin and then get started. So before starting any lip injections we always analyze the lips and look at the anatomy to see what filler is going to be best and what technique is going to be best. So how's that feeling, Chrissy? I did not feel that at all. Awesome. I mean, this is completely numb, so yeah. Awesome. So some benefits of getting lip filler. It keeps the lips looking hydrated, especially during these winter months where we tend to get trapped lips often. Also for women, even non-smokers, getting keeping that top lip plump and hydrated helps to prevent getting those smoker lines later in life. So with fillers, um, our fillers are hydrophilic, which means that they like to draw on water. During the downtime of fillers, you have a couple days of swelling and that really is just the fillers pulling in water. They pull in that water to help smooth and soften them out. Risks with filler include always a risk of bruising. Anytime you stick a needle in your face, there's a risk of bruising. Um, again, swelling, but it typically lasts maybe two, three days. The filler that we're using on Chrissy today is called Juvederm Ultra Plus. It is made by Allergan and it lasts roughly about nine months to a year. So today we are injecting in between half of a syringe and a full syringe of Juvederm Ultra Plus. Typically when someone is a new client, they start with about a syringe of filler and then we can build on from there. Okay, so go ahead and look at your lips. We're about halfway through. Are you liking the results so far? I think it looks good. Every client's downtime with lip filler is a little bit different. Some clients swell a little bit more than others, and some clients bleed a little bit more than others. So every client is also a little asymmetric naturally. Um, today with doing Chrissy's filler, we are trying to match this little divot in her lip to the other side of her lip, which is a little bit more smooth. So after injections, we like to analyze the lips to make sure everything feels smooth and even. And we always massage it in with a Ormetic Balancing Lip Complex. Um, and it, we do sell it in office. It pairs really well to help with those chapped lips after getting lip injections done. So these are our two um, lip complexes that we like to use after doing lip injections. They help to draw water in and rehydrate the lips after we have to cleanse them off and they get dehydrated. Um, this one is a sheer pink and the other one is a clear. 